Ladies and gentlemen, this is all of the intel for Call of Duty Ghost Extinction's Awakening. sea level, surrounded by cryptids, and who should happen by? Samantha Cross. What are the chances? Our angel says she wants to make a deal. A guided tour of the Ark, in exchange for safe passage off the islands. Some had called it a happy coincidence. But angels and coincidence have another thing in common. I don't believe in either one. Close. There's a bridge up ahead. Is that where your friends are waiting for us? I didn't know I had any friends. Oh, but they've had you, haven't they? Since you betrayed Nightfall and left us to die. We don't have time for this shit. Your frozen friends have waited 300 million years. They'll keep another few minutes. I know what you want, and I can give you your Medusa's head. You read my mind. Why should I go down there, guns blazing, when I can take off your head and carve out what I need right here? You have no idea what's about to happen, do you? Go on, love. Enlighten me. The last thing I remember is burning pain as my lungs filled with gas. Shattering glass, rain on my face, and this shrieking. When I woke up, I was inside the Ark, and I could feel them watching me from the inside. I felt the ancestors staring into my mind, so I stared back, and I saw the end of the world. They've always been here, watching, waiting. They're everywhere, right beneath our feet. They used others like me as their eyes and ears on the surface. They're about to broadcast a signal to awaken every Ark on the planet. They're gonna kill us all. Unless we kill them first. Godfather to strike one, do you copy? What's on your mind, General? What have you done with Cross? Nothing yet. I'm considering various options. If Cross knows what the Ancestors are planning, she's more valuable alive than dead. All due respect, sir. I'm not keen to get killed over a load of bollocks. I can be back on the surface in an hour with Cross's head in the icebox. Negative. You will return Cross to the surface unharmed. That is an order. Say again, General. You're breaking up. <laughs> God, bro. It seems I owe you an apology, General. Turns out Dr. Cross was telling the truth after all. We've located the Ancestors' hibernation chamber. Killing one of them was surprisingly simple. Though I suspect that's only because the old beast was half asleep at the time. Once the creature was dead, we cut open its head and removed an organ similar to the human pineal gland. This is the source of the creature's telepathy. The military and scientific value of this specimen is incalculable. It will enable us to complete development of the Medusa device and give these bastards a taste of our own medicine. Regrettably, Dr. Cross was killed during the attack. We can all take comfort in the knowledge she died serving her country and her species. We 
we're done here, lads. Time to say goodnight. Careful where you point that thing. Sir, are you okay? Archers lost it! Man. <laughs> people who are going to die today. No one deserves it more than you. Arclight to Godfather, we've located SIF Team 1. Package is secured for transport. Copy, Arclight. Proceed directly to the Exodus launch site. I'll tell them to save four seats. Better make that five, sir. I'll be damned. Stand by for Air Force One. Give me options, General. What'll it take to win this war? The war is over, sir. We lost. We project 80% of the planet's surface will be overrun within 200 hours. But there must be... There's only one page left in the playbook. Scorched Earth. Then it's over. For all of us. The ancestors survived the last apocalypse in arcs hidden under our feet. But we've got an arc of our own, hanging right over their heads. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember to come on back next time.